Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to add AdMob ads to your um, Android application. So I'm going to be writing this in Kotlin and it should be a pretty easy to follow demo. Nothing too complex going on. I'm um, going to be using the um, demo app and demo ad IDs. Um, some of my other videos have the actual setup on AdMob website, so if you want to see that, you can go to one of my other videos. I'll link it in the description. Okay, so first off, you want to add this dependency to the Play Services ads. So you'll want to add it at the app level, so I'm going to go do that here. You can see these other dependencies, and I'll just add it here. Cool, and now I should be able to run and sort of show you what I'm working with to start. Okay, so it's running and it's failed. So if I look at the error for why it's failed. Okay, so this version is basically saying that I'm using an invalid or incompatible version of Kotlin. So if I change this Kotlin version number to one that I know will work. I think this is probably just because my Android Studio needs an update. Um, then it should run. Okay, so it's crashed for some other reason. So if I look at my log files and load those up. Okay, so here's an error. So basically it's telling me that it's initialized incorrectly and I think it's because I've forgotten to add this. So I need to add this to the Android manifest. It's my sample add mob ID. And it basically tells me, tells Google which, um, where, who basically gets the money, which app is serving the ads, um, and who the um, money should go to. So I'm just using the sample add mob app ID. If you want to see how to set that up, you can watch one of my other, other videos in the description. And so if I run it this time, it should run and install correctly. So opening that, yeah, I can see that it's been run correctly and that's what I'm working with as a base. So now I'm going to want to get my ad set up. So I'll start off by changing this to a button. I want a button that I can click on and um, that will show the interstitial. So that's what I'm going to start with, a button. Give that an ID. So these are the, just the different constraints I have. I'll leave them as is for now. And I also want a add view. So we're going to create one of those and just configure it. Give this one an ID as well. That's so I can refer to it in the code and load an ad for it. So I want to add some constraints to it as well. This one's going to be um, down the bottom because that's where users typically expect ad views. So you can see this ads namespace isn't being found. I need to add this um, XMLNS, so the XML namespace. Cool, so now it's added that's uh, recognizing that and I also want to set um, the add unit ID. So I'm going to use a sample add unit ID 
Just copying the banner sample from the Google AdMob website. Um, when you go to publish, you'll want to make sure all of these are actually the live ad unit IDs. Another way to test would be to add um, add the device as a um, test device and then you don't need to worry about using the sample app ID or the um, or the demo ad unit IDs. You can use the real ones if you've got your device added as a test device. So I'm adding an on click to my button that's shown to Stichel. And now that's all set up, I can write the code to add the ads. So I'm going to want to have an ad view, an uh, interstitial ad, and an ad view here. So this is my banner ad I'm, I'm setting up here. Then I want to initialize the ad services. And I'm going to create two new functions. I'm going to create one to load the interstitial. And um, I'll also create one to uh, load the banner ad. And I'll call them from my onCreate method. I also need my um, my show interstitial um, method that I've um, called from the activity main XML. Um, basically on the button press it will call this and it will show the interstitial. Cool, so I'll call my load interstitial and my load banner ad and then I'll go and implement them. So you want to find the view that you've um, created for the banner ad. Then you'll want to create an ad request. Then on the banner ad, you want to call the load um, ad uh, function with the ad request. So I've actually put my banner ad logic in the wrong function. I'll go move that down here into the load banner ad. And now I can work on loading my interstitial. So you do it similarly, you create an ad request. And then you create, you um, you load an interstitial ad using the context uh, ad unit ID, which you can get as a, a demo ad unit ID from the Google AdMob site and documentation. Then you pass the ad request as well and you 
creating a cool back here. So you want to create an add load call back. You want to override some of the um, functions. So on add failed to load, you want to override that and you can do whatever you want. You don't have to override this. It's just, um, it means that you can do specific functionality here if the um, add failed to load. Maybe you don't want to let the user use functionality for whatever reason. Or maybe you just want to log the error so that you can see what's going on and you'll I've also created an on ad loaded this one is more critical because it gives you the interstitial ad which you can then show later on so you want to set your field to be the the interstitial ad to be the interstitial ad that's been loaded and then from there it should just work so if I run this, when it loads up, I should see on screen um, a little button that says show interstitial. And I should also see a banner ad. So it's got that show interstitial button. And I'm also seeing a test ad, but it's not actually where I want it to be. I want it to be down the bottom. So I'm going to go fix that up because that's kind of just, is, a lot of users will expect the banner ad down the bottom. It's a bit weird to have it floating in the middle of nowhere. So I've just removed a constraint um, that's putting it at the bottom of the um, interstitial button. So now that's, it, that's um, built, when it runs, you can see I've got my show interstitial button and my test ad. So if I click show interstitial, it should show my ad. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have, please like and subscribe. And if there's anything else you want to see on app monetization, please let me know.